Hey guys, this is Xenomics. Today I'm going to show you how pros actually really record their movies. Now, I'm sure you've seen some sort of movie vault movies that are, you know, three, four minutes long, made by professional movie makers. Now, if you've already seen my video, which is before this, it's how to record CSS Pro movies using config. Well, this time I'm not going to be using a config, except the one that I made, really, but it's not just a config that you need, you need virtual dub as well. So, first thing you'd do, you'd go to Impact CSS Auto Tweaker. If you don't have Impact CSS Auto Tweaker, you can download it from the link that I have available on the video description. After you install it, you would double click it, and as you can see, you do nothing, but you just go to Show Hide the Elements, Remove Show All, and then all you have to do is just tick Show Death Notices. That's all there is. Now, if your frag has some sort of um, ace and a diffuse, you want to show that the uh, diffuse bar. Then you press OK. But my frag doesn't have the diffuse bar, so no point. But might as well leave it on anyway. You know, you've got nothing to lose. Press OK. Make sure that the maximum death notice is on 5, just in case the guy does an ace and you want to see all 5 people. Then I'm going to do apply to CSS. And it's going to say, you sure? I'm going to say yes. So and then I'll quit. Then I will go to CSS, or launch CSS. And as you can see here, I have it on 1280 by 720 because that's how most movies are. You know, they're at 16:9 aspect ratio. Then I'm going to go to Shift F2 because that is the demo playback menu. But before doing so, I have to go to Options, Keyboard, Advanced. Make sure that the console is on. Then I'll go to the button which is next to number one on the keyboard. Then you'd execute Xeno VDub. Right, as you can see here, I only have three binds done. One to remove the hood, one to remove the spectator bars, and just leave the death notices in the crosshair. And one removes the player model. Um, I'll be showing you what I mean by these layer. So, I'll open my demo. It will be Migos form on USB the first round. Now, I've already played this uh, demo before, and I've noticed that, you know, the, the actual first round only starts at about a few minutes in, and it was at 30... 30,000. So I'm going to go and type 30,000 in. I'd press go to. Then I would close the demo playback, close the spectator bars, find where he's called crash.exe, and then I would click 2. Now 2 removes everything, leaving the crosshair and the death notices. So then I would go to shift F2 and then I'd resume. As you can see, the host frame rate is making it very slow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So if I open console, host, frame rate. Then I'm going to make it 50. Obviously, just for now, open my Shift F2 demo playback menu. His frag happens when he's at apartment, just around here. So I'm going to pause the video right here. Then I'm going to open console, host, frame rate, and I'm going to make it 300 so it's smooth. Then I'll press escape. Now here, what I'd do is, open console again, sorry for that, and I would type in start movie. And I would call it crash foreman USB apps. Press enter. As you can see here, it says start recording movie. Frames will record after the console is cleared. So basically, it's not started recording now, but as soon as I push escape, it'll start recording. So I have to be quick um, when taking away the demo playback. So I'll press escape resume, close the demo playback, and now it is recording every single frame. Now it's uh, actually storing them as TGA files or Targa files, they're actually images. And basically what you do later on is go to a virtual dub and you would uh, import it in. I'll be showing you how to do that. So for now I'll be fast forwarding the clip. As you can see now, he just got his fourth kill, and I guess that's the end of the demo. Well, obviously there is more to it, but that's just the end of the frag. So I'm going to push escape. So I'm going to go to my console, and I'm going to type end movie. And it stopped recording movie. Next, I'll go to quit CSS, quit game. Then I'll go to my CSS folder, and then I'll go to my C-Strike. And as you can see here, it's made a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of TGA files. So I'm going to launch Virtual Dub. I'm going to go to File, Open Video File, 
And then I'm going to go to Field of Type, Image Sequence. Now as you can see here, I'm already on my C-Strike folder. Then I would click the first one, which is the name that I named it, then 000, zero, zero four zeros. Then I press Open. And now it's put all those images next to each other. Next, I would go to Video, Color Depth. Make it 24 bit because the 16 bit is too low. Press OK. Audio. Audio from other file. As you can see here, I can see Crash Form on USP and it's actually a wave sound, one about around 1 meg. So I'll open it. And now it's obviously put itself on the video itself. Then I would go to Video, Frame Rate. Personally, I'd like to change it to 60. Some people suggest that whatever host frame rate you use, when you're on virtual dub, you would use half the amount that you used. So, for example, if I used host frame rate 300, I would put 150 for the video frame rate control on virtual dub. But come on, let's be realistic 60 FPS should be enough. Then I'll press OK, and then I'll go to File, Save As. I'll choose where I want to save it, press Save. Then, to make it go even faster, I would go to Heist, Processing Thread Priority, Show Video Input, I would want to uncheck that and sh uncheck Show Output Video. If you want it to be even faster, you'd go to Task Manager. The way I do it is either right click Task Manager, then you would right click on virtualdub.exe, which is taking out, you know, the highest amount of memory so far, right click, set priority, and I'll make it real time, which is the highest. Now, after the AVI file, has finished rendering itself, you would launch Vegas Pro. Now obviously I actually stopped mine because I actually don't need that demo, but I'll be showing you another example. This is another recording which I made using the same method. Drop it, drag and drop it down. Obviously there is no sound to it, but that's just the uh, problem with the recording that I did there. If you follow the steps of the video, you should get sound and everything should be fine. The only wrong thing with this is the fact that it's pretty slow, so I right click, go to properties, and change the playback rate so it's 4, press OK, and as you can see here it's made itself kind of 4 divisions, each division is a duplicate of the other, so I'll just only will be wanting 1, split S, click the right file, and then click delete. That's it, now I'm left with just, just with the video itself. Now if you want to make a smooth on the binds, you would click one to remove all the HUD and then you press three to remove the kind of the uh, you know pistol that's if you're using POV which is the manually recorded demo after you've finished and you want to play normal Counter-Strike Source all you'd have to do is just launch Impact CSS HUD Tweaker once again and you would go to reinitialize the HUD go OK and that's it your HUD should be back to normal go to quit and that is it Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any comments, any questions, any problems, any flaws with it, make sure you send me a message. This was another Xenoma tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to check my other videos such as reviews, unboxings, tutorials, etc. See you later.